Hello, welcome to ASNU. Today we're looking at the ASNU gasoline injector test machine and in particular the optional variable voltage and remote control PC software. Most existing ASNU machines can be upgraded to use this system or you can purchase it with a new machine. If you're involved with performance vehicles or engine tuning, this system will enable you to measure injector dead time at different fuel pressures and different battery voltages. PC and program connects to the ASNU machine via a USB cable and effectively replaces the onboard user interface. Okay, so let's have a quick refresh on the effect of fuel pressure and battery voltage on injector flow and dead time. Here I can set the engine RPM, the electrical pulse width to the injector and the duty cycle, the fuel pressure and the battery voltage. And here we'll display the de dead time of the injector. Okay, so let's start with a perfect injector and I'm going to increase the pulse width to the injector. This is the electrical signal and we can see that the duty is 5% indicated by the dotted line there. We're running at three bar and 13.8 volt battery voltage. Immediately, we can see as the pulse width increases or duty cycle increases, we've got flow coming out of the injector. And if I keep increasing the pulse width to the injector, we can see the flow increases proportionally all the way up to 100% duty cycle, which is its maximum flow rate. So here we can see 100% duty cycle, which is static flow. We've got 600 cc's per minute from the injector. Now let's try that again, but also we'll plot a real injector, one with real mechanical delays, etc. So let's start increasing the pulse width and we can see the perfect injector the flow is coming up immediately but we've got nothing from the real injector yet let's increase the pulse width a little bit more now we see the real injector finally starts to flow and we can see that it has a dead time of 1.4 milliseconds now we can keep increasing the pulse width or due to cycle to the injector and the real injector is following the perfect injector, but lagging behind by this offset. And if we go all the way up to 100% due to cycle, we can see that they're now both flowing 600 cc's per minute. Now let's have a quick look at the effect of fuel pressure. So we're running at three bar, 600 cc's per minute, 1.4 milliseconds dead time on the real injector. Let's increase our fuel pressure to four bar. Four bar. So now we see the flow has gone up to 800 cc's per minute. And also the dead time of the real injector has increased to 2.5 milliseconds. So we can see that fuel pressure has an effect on both maximum flow or static flow and the dead time. Now let's also have a look at battery voltage. Let's reduce the battery voltage. And we can see that the dead time of the real injector goes up again. So it's really important to understand the effects of fuel pressure and dead time on the injector. And that's where the ASNU variable voltage and remote control software comes in very useful for measuring these effects. To get the most from the remote control software, the machine is going to need firmware version 19.04 or later, and this is displayed on the main power up screen. Don't worry if you don't have this version or later, it can be upgraded via the USB port. Okay, I hope you found that useful and thanks for watching.